Hey, it's Tony with Hiking Into Retirement. Well, I've been home for probably uh, four days, I guess, and not getting bored, but ready to go do a little hiking. So today I'm gonna go to a, a small town in Southern Illinois called Macanda. Um, it's in the Shawnee National Forest and um, it's supposed to be some good hiking around Giant City. So Shawnee National Forest is like 300 or 400,000 acres and it's a great place to go hiking. So I plan on doing a little hiking today and seeing what we could get into. What I'd like to do is kind of get an interview with some folks down there that know Macanda. Like I said, wait till you see the uh, um, the little town. It's pretty freaking cool. So um, it's about, I'd say, 45 minutes from here. And um, we'll see what we can get into and uh, hang out with me today. So like I said, just uh, not too bored, but just want to get out and about and see what's going on. So... Come along with me and let's see what we can do today. Peace, hippies. Well, I'm going to walk into the Rainmaker Art Studio. And it's quite the treat in here, so... Oh, my. Now... This is where he creates most of his art. It's quite, quite the operation here. I'm telling you, he has some amazing pieces of art that he has created. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, if you ever come to Makanda, you have got to come in to the Rainmaker's lair. It's quite the place. I don't know if it's part dungeon, part pirates, or all hippie, man. It's incredible. He has a whole outside garden oasis that he made it's unbelievable i mean all these stairs and rocks and waterfalls in his backyard it's kind of incredible who are you katcha and katcha are you an artist too not really not really no what do you do i'm friends of the day make food huh Now, Dave the Rainmaker in Macanda has told me three times now that he won't do, give me an interview. So I have, I brought a secret weapon. I hear that this might work. So I'm gonna try it out. So, Dave, you'll accept uh, me talking to you for a bit with uh, the Paps? Yeah. yeah okay. You, you bribed me, so I'll, <laughs> I'll... I bribed him. So, this is Dave the Rainmaker, the original guy of Macanda. And we're going to throw some beer back. The original guy of Macanda. He's pretty good, huh? Yeah. You're the original. Oh, They're going to break the mold whenever you die. Yeah? So, <laughs> say hey, Dave. Hey Dave, what's happening, buddy? That's my buddy Randy. Hey, hey Randy. How you doing? Here's to Macanda. So, um, tell me a little bit about the, I knew the you shop. Ask me the same questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about your shop. Oh uh, well, let's see. Uh, He's been there. 
50 years, been there for 50 years. Same questions that you've yeah, been Yeah, through. yeah, and uh, it's just, uh, it's just, I sell my artwork in it. And that's what we do. So you've been here 50 years? Yeah. So, Makanda, is this it right here? This, this is, is all you're gonna get, yep. This is it. Now back in the old days, I don't know when that was, there used to be stores from here all the way to the entrance to the park. Oh my. And many of them were two story buildings. But most of it burned down or got flooded out. So when did you move here? I don't know how 73. old you are. In 73. In 73 from? Carbondale. From Carbondale. And the story I hear is you had a partner and you guys, uh, you learned how to do all this 50 years ago or something? Yeah, pretty much. You weren't an artist before then? Well, I was. Oh. Did leather work and painting. But me and my partners, we uh, picked up a uh, new trade, let's say, and stayed with it ever since. My partners moved away. So how long did stay here? When did you start the Rainmaker Art Studio? It would have been in 1973. 1973? Before that, me and those two guys, partners, we were bullshit leather company. <laughs> bullshit bullshit leather. leather company. Do you, do you remember any of that? I remember where he was located. In the mall. Yep. He was right behind. Uh, across the street from PK's. Yeah. Right behind the fetish. So you got done with the leather we're and in you... in front of the fetish at first. Oh, and then they pushed us out and moved Dan Ryan's pizza place in. So they moved us into the fetish area. And I guess somehow we left and then the fetish moved in back there. Yeah, the, a lot of old history. I like to forget most of it. The fetish meaning who? <laughs> the fetish was a head shop. Oh, okay, okay. So Dave, are you done uh, for the day uh, oh, yeah. creating? Yeah. Stone in the morning, drunk in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, they no. make a song on that one. Right. Like that. <laughs> How'd you like the backyard? Love the backyard. I can't believe you did all that. Well, me and my friends and my money. Yeah. <laughs> so how many people live in uh, Makanda? Well, it's down old. in the valley here, that's the old town. This is the cold About valley. About 150. 150 people? But they added on all this land, which included the golf course. So now it's up to 600. 600 people? Still pretty small. You never see that other 450. And this place gets pretty busy next next month, is that what you said? Well, we'll have an art show next month. Yeah, it gets busy. Well, thousands of people. So how often do you leave here? Or are you here? I never leave here. <laughs> I am married to my business. Is this beer any good? Oh, it's, it's right wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody said that that was the only beer you drank, and then I come in here, and you're drinking Bud Light. They're like... No, this is the only beer I ever drink. Are you kidding and me? And your beer. Oh. <laughs> they, 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 they told me that... No, Who you... told you that? I can't tell you that. They <laughs> promised me not to say... They said... You know what? You bring him some PBR and you'll get an interview with him. That's someone I bet that drinks PBR and they're probably going to show up here. Oh soon. yeah. Yeah. So don't give away my <laughs> beer, right? So in, in just a few minutes, you're going to have to kind of show me around and show me some stuff. Oh no, man. I'll switch beers if I got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy so shit. do you have, do you have any employees? Brazilian whirlwind. Do you have any employees? Uh, yeah, but you know, they never show up. Oh, you do have employees? Well, sometimes when they show up, I got an employee. Okay. Like today, they didn't show up. Okay. So I had to employ myself. So this isn't an employee? This, well, I, I know an employee. Yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. Kinda, sometimes. Hi. What's up? So Dave, as your that you are an artist so what's your specialty jewelry or chairs sexual, and swings or sexual jewelry <laughs> <laughs> say that was a straight face <laughs> well we might have to edit that part out I mean, well, i don't know why 
So you don't like PBR? No, I like Bud Light. <laughs> so that guy was telling me all wrong. I know. So, um, yeah, he probably told you what he likes. It's called Keep Up Blues. Let's see, Ted Hopkins covered a Jesse Winchester song, Biloxi, which from the next hundred years album started to set off with Ben Harper and the Okay, you're how old? I am 74. Not bad, and you're never gonna retire. No, you can't. Why would I? What would I do? Travel. Well, I don't like traveling. Hmm. Aren't you, do you ever get bored in Macanda? You stick around a couple hours, you'll see why. <laughs> you don't ever get bored. <laughs> in fact, tomorrow, tomorrow is uh, a certain special day. Is it really? Oh, uh, yeah. What's yeah. the special day tomorrow? It's Wednesday. Huh? Wednesday. Oh, hump day. Hump day. We also call it uh, Bart Day. Bart Day. A friend of mine named Bart shows up hey, on. So, oh, so my channel uh, my channel is called Hiking Into Retirement. Do you see yourself retiring? No, can't happen. Can't happen? Why? Tell no, why. No, why. Uh, oh, okay. 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 Tell, me, tell, tell them why you can't retire because I just retired. You don't ever retire when you're in the arts world, craft world. Oh. You just keep doing it. Otherwise, you end up in an alley somewhere, walking around. You, you don't, you don't want to travel or anything no, like that no, away never, from here. No, no, never, never. I did when I did art shows, but I never really yeah. wanted to. I don't like traveling. To tell you the truth. You don't like leaving Macanda. Mm -hmm. No, this is a very safe place. It's very dangerous out there. Go to the doctor's appointment sometimes. That's it. Yeah. Oh, so he does go to the doctor at least. I go to the doctor. Yeah, sometimes, but that's the only two things. Post office and doctor, that's Post it. Post office, doctor. Post office and doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, taqueria. Oh, taqueria, <laughs> yeah. So, Macanda doesn't have a store or anything like that, a grocery store. We're, we got coffee. Okay, as I told you, Dave is quite the character, man. Uh, it's tough to get an interview with him, but uh, look at this place that he's created back here. I I really don't know how to describe it, except you have got to come here. Um, this is his backyard again. There's creeks running through it. It's just a maze of, <laughs> I can't describe what it is exactly. Um, here's up some stairs. Looks like a outdoor type of bar. Overlooks a creek, bridges everywhere. This is a hippie oasis, man. A hippie oasis. Um, I think you could get lost back here. I really do. Where would I, where would I go? Hang out on the beach? Right. When I first hung out on my first beach, uh -huh. I picked up smoking. What That's beach was that? Uh, uh, Yucatan Peninsula. Wow. Hey, been there. What were you doing there? Islamo Harris, smoking. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Got ten dollars. Real dollars. quick, give me a tour. Show me some cool stuff that you just made. On the shop? Yeah, something that you're proud of that you go. Now this is really cool. Yeah. All right. Watch this. Proud of that. Okay, get close. I got it. So these are two people entwined. Now they're not welded together, so they wiggle. Oh my. It's kind of the sales pitch when I make these that they my wiggle. Oh Dave, how long does that little piece right there take? Oh, I'll, I'll make that in 15 minutes. Nice thing about it, it's bronze. It'll last for thousands of years. And say if I wanted to buy something like that, what does that cost? Uh, these are, I don't even know my own price. It's 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And Dave, this building, how long have you been in this building? 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. 
I gotta go say hello to my buddy out here. Cool. This town has been declared the hippie town of Illinois. The number one hippie town. No way. So Wait. here's- if you look it up on the computer. What are the hippie towns of the United States? So my whole channel revolves around us hippies getting back to, where did all the hippies go? Tell me where all the hippies went. They get, they work, they're lawyers. <laughs> and they're judges. They become lawyers, judges, yeah. and nah. Republicans. <laughs> so, hey, hey, they never, hippies never went away. Hey. Nobody ever defined what the word hippie even device? meant. Another you know what? Why? Where did? Why don't we say hippies anymore? Why don't we ever say, "Hey, he's a hippie"? I say it all the time. Oh, good. Whenever I see someone get out of the car with long hair, uh, but do you have to have colorful long... clothes? I go, hippies are here. <laughs> so, do you have to have long hair to be a hippie anymore? I think I live. I no, lived in a band for uh, almost a month. Oh, like well, you could be called a hippie, I suppose. Thank you, because that's what I want. Yeah. I want to be just called a hippie. Yeah, I mean, they, and, and you consider yourself one? Oh, people call me that all the time when I was younger. And yeah. they, oh, they still call me that. Yeah. Okay, you want to feel like you're back in the 60s somewhere? Macanda, Illinois. That's where you need to go. Macanda, Illinois. It will take you back. For sure. Hey. Do you ever go buy fish from him? I sell fish to Mississippi. <laughs> I, mean, I fish in Mississippi. I'm going to sell the fish all over Cape Girard, St. Not Louis. Anymore. No, I'm in divorce. I'm going to sell the fish. Nothing to do with so, fish. what kind of fish does he catch? Nothing to do with fish. Catfish, spoonbill, the one with the big lips. What's the one who have the lips like that? What's the one that makes all the eggs that he ships to New York? The spo stu stu sturgeon. That's what I made. The ca he little... catches all those around here and yeah, ships them off? Yeah, miss... No, we sell around like Cape Girard, but uh, we should sell the caviar. Caviar? Oh, yeah. To we'll New York. It... To New York for the couple from Russia, remember? We have a couple from Russia. It's coming, we fish, and then we catch the guts. And I did the caviar for a couple years. I used to did the caviar. They come out of what? From Newark. To no, my... no, no, no. What fish do they come out of? What's called the fish? Oh, uh, stir? No. Sturgeon. Stir, yeah. He catches sturgeon yeah. and, and pulls caviar from them. Yeah. The egg is, is caviar. It's made for the sturgeon eggs. Yeah. And it comes from Illinois. <laughs> caviar comes from Illinois. Uh, have five. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Caviar. It's called Illinois caviar. Caviar is a Illinois caviar. So Dave just pointed this out. It's a giant praying mantis that he built. Incredible. <laughs> Oh dear, you have got to come to this place and see this place. M make sure to come and say hi to Dave. He's quite the character. So Dave is gonna make this into a cool bracelet from, for me. And I'm gonna say, I got it right here at the Rainmaker. Dave, what are you gonna do inside here for me? Okay, tell, for me, it's something special. Especially. It's not okay. Good. It's not going to be like anybody else, for anybody else, right? Well, then I can say this easily. I okay. I'm not sure yet. It could be anything. It could be copper, bronze, or nickel, or twisted copper. It'll be something that will make it look one of a kind. Although it for, certainly wouldn't be because I mass produce stuff. Uh, but I need you to make something one of a kind for hiking okay. into retirement. I take that back. It's not mass produce. It'll be one of a kind. I'll never make it again. Thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, I got to hang out with Dave and Katja. What a great crew. Uh, Guys, thank you so much. It was such a great pleasure hey, hanging uh, out. Mucho amor and mucho sense of a common. 
Unido. Come to my canda. That's the spot. So, hippies, if you need a place to hang out, this is definitely the place to hang out. Dave, thank you so much, buddy, for, for your hospitality and all your incitement that you guys gave me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Pretty great, huh? Come visit Macanda. Because Macanda is awful. It's awesome. It's calm. It's beautiful. Really cool, beautiful. We have the best garden ever. We got gardening. Yeah, and I don't have the rainmaker. David the dogs. Look at me. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you. No, I can't say any of that. Well, why? Why would you want people to come to Macanda, Dave? To uh, uh, spend their money. <laughs> <laughs> that too and uh, see the beautiful state park yeah. we have a beautiful uh -huh. state park we're surrounded by state park yeah right in the middle of the state park um and geez we're in the middle of 10 wineries are you that a lot of people come here from kentucky missouri to uh do the wine wine tour mm -hmm. so yeah we're in the middle of everything we are the middle of everything yeah, yeah. Well, the fun thing, and you love when they come into your shop Sure, and they're from everywhere. I ask them where they're from. Uh -huh. Mostly, you know, Randy asks them where they're from, and uh, they're from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of cool. Keep it going, keep it going. You have it's some. a universal yeah. area because of this <laughs> of the university. Uh, people come from all over the world to the university, and then they come here too. So, and then they go to the lodge in, in the state park. Great food at the lodge. And they come here. We're kind of at the end of, of the tour of all the tours. Winery tour, or the tour of the state park. Yeah, we're part of it. You are quite the artist. Thank you I'm very telling much. you, you are quite oh, the yeah. artist. Oh yeah, he's uh, magnifico. Uh -huh. He really is. He's a beautiful uh, soul. He seems like, he was hard at first, but when he, you broke into him. Yeah, he had to buy me beer. Did I broke into you? Yeah, he broke no, into me. I don't think I broke into you. He bribed you. No. into me. He but he, he's a great guy. He oh, he bribed you with he the saw my soft touch. Oh, cheap beer. With the PBR? Yeah, I know. That's ah. it. I, know. I still gave in. I still paid. That's you. True hippie. You gotta check out hiking into retirement. Bravo, bravo, amore. Cool. Yeah.